All right, boys and girls, what's going on? My name is Shaquino, and I am here with my first ever career mode on my YouTube channel. And we're doing it with Tottenham Hotspur, boys and girls. Those are my That's my favorite team. Um, yeah, that's my favorite team. I really love supporting Spurs, and they want me to reach the Domestic Cup semifinal here. Um, just a little bit more transfer, uh, transfer market information. They want me to look for a striker, which I will do. I have my eye on one pacey, pacey son of a bitch that we could get. And uh, our scout is also James Bond, a.k.a. Jason Bond. But it uh, looks like they want us to qualify for the Champions Cup, which I really think we can, we will do. I mean, that's... With this team right here, with this default team, if I were to buy nobody, I would probably qualify for the Champions League here. I'm just kind of messing with the team here, uh, as you can obviously tell. Uh, looking, at my, uh, looking at my reserves, see who I need to get. Kind of making a default squad here. Um, by the looks of it right now, we have Townsend on the right, who I like over Lamella just for his pace. He's, he's a quick man right there. That man has some serious speed. But we have uh, Harry Kane up top, and we have Chadley on the right. Townsend, or not, sorry, it's not Townsend. Uh, Dembele and Paulinho in the middle. Kane as our uh, attacking mid. And then on the back, I'm planning on buying a left back too, and you'll see who that is. Uh, sorry, I accidentally cut that part out, so I'm going to say it now. It's going to be Sayai Kolasinac there. He's a really good player, but we're going to hopefully replace him with Danny Rose. And we're also going to buy another center back who I like, who's a really good pairing with Vertonghen. I've tried him out before. He's very good, but I'm planning on keeping Kyle Walker and Maurice. Uh, those are two really good players. And uh, just a quick quick uh, look at my reserves here. We've got Stambouli, who I'm going to use, Mason, Kabul, Kirikez, Bentaleb. Uh, those are all really good players. But my first guy, my first uh, transfer target here is Mateo Kovacic, the Croatian from Inter Milan. And my second here is Marquinhos, the Brazilian center back from PSG. Both very good players who I really hope I can get. Now there is Sad Kolasinac, Mateo Kovacic, and Marquinhos. They want 45 for uh, Marquinhos, and they want me to reach the semifinal of the Europa League there. Uh, yeah, 45 for Marquinhos, 31 for Mateo Kovacic, and they wanted set, what do they want? 10 and a half for, uh, yeah, 10 and a half for uh, Kolasinac there. Now I go in with an offer of 7.5 to start off with. Uh, He's really worth, he plays like he's worth more than that. He plays like he's worth, you know, 12 or 15. He's just so good. I mean, his strength alone is just fantastic. But I'm, um, you get here, uh, we put in an initial offer of, I think, what did we put in? I'm post comments, obviously. So, um, yeah, it was 15, yeah, it was, initially it was 15 million with, uh, Etienne Capu there. He's a guy I'm really never going to use. Um, he's just not really a guy I like in this game. Like him in real life, not really in this game. Uh, then we have Marquinhos here, the uh, obviously the Brazilian center back from PSG. We go in with 30 million to see if we can get him, but um, but Inter they really want that 31 million for Kovacic, so we decided to go in with 25 in Capu there. Uh, we submit that and see what they think about that one, and we get a uh, get a transfer offer for uh, Sto oh my gosh, Soldado. Sorry, Roto Roberto Soldado. He's really underperformed for uh, Spurs this year in real life. It's kind of disappointing because he is a good striker. He really is. I mean. He just hasn't performed. When we bought him, he just, you know, he wasn't used to the, uh, he wasn't used to Premier League speed, Premier League life, you know, English life. Just really didn't fit in well. But, um, yeah, they come back with uh, an offer for 14. We want to get 16. We're going to milk everything we can out of, uh, everything we can out of Stoke City. And here we get an offer, f uh, from Palermo for Vladimir Kirikez. Uh, but we reject that offer because I really like Kirikez. Uh, he's really a good, uh, a good backup center back. But uh, here, Schalke have, uh, uh, they've declined, but, um, sorry, PSG and uh, Inter have accepted. So we decided to go in with 8 million for Sea Colossinatch, which is what they want. I'll happily pay that. Um, <coughs> excuse me. But, um, yeah, we don't, we don't go for the, P or for the, uh, Marquinhos initially because he's really, uh, we just don't have the money for him because I really want, uh, Mateo Kovacic. He's really just that. I'm going to wait for Marquinhos because Mateo Kovacic is just that good of a player and they've accepted that obviously we're gonna give him 90 million over four years and we're just gonna uh give him that enforce imp important sorry I can't speak English the fort uh player role Jesus I really can't speak English and then we get a loan deal here for uh Luke McGee which I'll happily give away and then we get an offer from Juventus uh for Hugo Lloris which I get every time I do this and we tell him to go screw themselves because Hugo Reese is one of the best keepers in the Premier League. So, yeah. Stoke City have accepted for uh, Soldado, which is good. 
And uh, Mateo Kovacic has accepted too, so that's going to leave us with 30 million in transfer budget, which is good too. I'll take that. Schalke has accepted for Sam Kolasinac, and we're going to give him 4 million, or not sorry, 4 years, 50,000, uh, man. And that crucial first team player, because he will be playing over Danny Rose. There. And we're just going to sim a few games, and we will be getting Soldado. We're going to get the money that Soldado has been sold. So yeah, Kolasinac has accepted his contract. And boom. Look at that. Sign two players right into the team. But with the, sell, the sell, with the selling of Soldado, we are able to buy Marquinhos for 110000 a week. Four th for four years. Almost said 4,000 years. I hope he's not living in 4,000 years. That'd be kind of awful. But uh, he's declined because he wants to know what kind of role he's going to have here at Spurs. We're giving him a crucial first team player because that's what he's going to be playing. He's going to be playing right next to Vertonghen and I think they'll make a fantastic pair. He ends up accepting his contract. That's gonna give a, that's gonna give us a five million in transfer budgets, and he's gonna go right into the team on the first game. But if you remember earlier, they do the board wants me to look for a striker. I decided to go after Danny Ings mainly because he's got that 86 to 90 pace. He's just so freaking fast. And uh, we do get an offer here uh, for Adebayor from Malaga, and uh, I like saying Malaga like that. It's just kind of fun. And uh, they go in with nine. I try to get 12 from them because Adebayor is he's old and I kind of want to just get everything I can for him and we get a we get the inquiry back from Burnley for Danny Ings and they want 13 million for Danny Ings uh, I think that's a little overpriced for Danny Ings personally uh, I mean he's fast he's got a lot of green stats but I mean he's just really not all of that good he's gonna be a backup guys we're paying I'm gonna pay like I don't know what I'm gonna pay from like 10 million 10 million for a backup I thought about this for a while, as you can obviously see. But what I do end up going with is, uh, I do end up going with 9 million to try and sign Danny Ings. But you will see that in the next episode because I accidentally cut something out and I'm retarded. So, I hope you guys have a good day and I'll see you in the next episode.